Representative and Pekin Mayor Mark Luft has announced he's running again for the State House. He sits down with our Matt Sheehan to talk about what's next for him on the record. After his freshman term as state rep, Mark Luft is looking for re-election. He joins me now to talk about his campaign. Mark, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, you were elected in November 2020 to serve as the 91st District State Representative. Now you're looking for a second term. How do you think your first two years in the State House went? Uh, it went great. Uh, surprisingly, uh, we did really well. We had a good freshman class uh, that came in, so that helped a lot. I uh, was able to pass my first bill, uh, co-sponsor a little over 60 different bills, uh, enjoyed committee. I'm on seven different committees for the state. Uh, so great education, uh, a lot packed into a small package. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. Uh, and I'm glad to be there to help move things forward and create a much needed balance for the state. Your bio on your website says your mission is to achieve fiscal responsibility, promote positive ethical reforms, and to clean up Illinois and improve quality of life. What are a couple things that you've done in your first two years to kind of work at that mission? Well, our first step was when I came in, we were able to pull out term limits. It wasn't exactly what we wanted, but we did get it done for leadership positions, which is the first step. And as you know, in Springfield, being a super uh, minority, uh, it's difficult to take a full step, so we have to stay focused on those first baby steps uh, to get to that goal, uh, which is why this election is probably the most pivotal and important. We have an extreme uh, imbalance on the floor, 73 to 45. You need 60 votes to pass a bill, so that's covered. And for controversial uh, veto override, uh, you need three-fifths, which is 71 votes, and that's covered, too. So really, we're in a position, being the super minority, that um, no one really has to talk to us, uh, which is frustrating. So we need to really, this one is important to try to bring back that balance, which forces us to work together, and that's what we want to do. So more gets done when you work together. Well, currently, you're also the mayor of Pekin, where you were also elected in 2019. Uh, if elected for another term in the State House, will you lay, leave the mayoral duties behind or keep doing both? Um, I've been able to do both now because I have such a good team on both sides. Uh, we've had a lot of things going. Uh, when the state rep position came up, uh, we took a good look, a uh, hard look, at the mayor's position. Uh, I had taken an oath to the city, and I fulfilled my oaths. So I was willing to put in the extra work uh, to make sure that both were covered. Uh, and then on top of that, when I did get elected to the House, um, I gave back my salary as mayor. So I don't get paid uh, to be mayor. I do it uh, for the benefit of the community. And, you know, some Republican lawmakers I've spoken with say they think pensions are Illinois' biggest problem right now. Do you agree with this? The Tier 2, I think, has created a balance for moving forward. It's the tier one that is really pulling the state down. And obviously the commitment to make the um, pension obligation uh, payments, uh, which there's a strong push for that. But several things are being looked at now, uh, maybe a buyout for the tier one, which would take a huge burden off of the state and help put that back into the perspective it's supposed to be. Uh, there's always the aspect of moving it over into um, a deferred program or a 401 and hopefully we'll be able to uh, attain that as time goes by but um, that is a subject I think that we're close to being on the same page with on both sides of the aisle so hopefully that can be achieved for the benefit of everybody. Well, Representative Mark Love thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you I enjoyed it. Absolutely we'll share this whole interview on our website ciproud.com.